Welcome to Flory Models. Here we are on Friday the 12th of February 2016 and today is review day. So today we've got some great reviews up for you. Big as in scale, huge. So what we've got is the 124 scale monster P47D. Now this is the Razorback version, which actually I haven't seen before. As I say in the review, I built this one many moons ago almost 10 years ago now, but I did it purely as an external model. And it's amazing how sort of how time changes and things like that, because unfortunately the kit is that scale. So everything is so big. So you need lots of little details. And it's something we talk about during obviously the review of how when you do the big 124 stuff, you need to put in almost every wire, all the little bits, because that's what gives you the scale effect. And unfortunately this kit falls a little bit flat because it's very lacking. It is lacking in a lot of detail. So that is the trouble with it. So if you are gonna do it, you're gonna be spending a lot of time scratch building because there isn't actually much aftermarket stuff. I know there's some harnesses, some wheels, uh, and some little bits and pieces and some gear things, but there isn't much as in overall parts like cockpits and engines and wheel wells and all those things that really this particular kit needs. But if you are after something huge as an external model and you want a giant sort of P47, then definitely this is probably the kit for you. Something else which is very close to my heart, I love this thing, is this. Now this is the 1 16th scale, so you're getting even bigger today. Uh, and this is obviously the Kenworth by Monogram. Absolutely beautiful kit. It looks fantastic. But again, because it's so big, it looks very plain, very basic. This is because again, it needs all the little details to really bring it to life. But I'm thinking from an external point of view, then you're gonna end up with a fantastic, very impressive truck. But possibly, I'm not saying I am, but possibly when I get around to doing this one, I might put the lights in because you could easily wire this thing up to have some great lighting effects all over it, internally in the cab, obviously the headlights, you know, indicators, running lights, things like that. It wouldn't be too much trouble, I think, to put those in. So maybe something I'll look forward to tackling when we actually get around to doing this particular build a little bit later on. Needless to say, well worth having a look at the review just for the scale of this thing and to give you an idea. And if you've ever fancied doing large scale trucks, then definitely it is worth having a look at this kit because it is very, very nice. Both of those are up on the site now. You can go off and see those. Uh, the acrylic rod and all the rest of it, to be honest, yesterday got a little bit carried away and I did another one. I've done a slightly thicker one we did here uh, just to see if it would look better with the thicker one or the thinner one and all the rest of it. I think the thinner one does work better. Uh, you can see we've unmasked it. I've done a couple other little things to it. Uh, and now obviously I'm gonna finish this one off tomorrow. Uh, which will be pushing through very nicely on that one. But needless to say, thanks for all the feedback on that one about bending the acrylic and all things like that. As I said, I'm gonna get that edited and it'll be up with you next week. So you can obviously crack on with that one. Same time, Terminator, to be honest, I haven't done any more to this one. Um, I'll probably go carry on with this one next week, early next week going through. But needless to say, thank you for all the feedback on it and with the camo and the bits and pieces. The guys who are asking about the tracks, a couple of people have said about it. I'm not aware there is aftermarket for this particular one. It's not a T90. Um, so the track isn't actually the same as the T90. But saying that, I don't know, possibly you could do it and various things, but the track system on it is not the same as the T90 kit. So it has got a slight difference in there because originally when I had trouble with it, I was gonna replace it. But to be honest, you know, this track, because it moves and it's workable and all the rest of it, and to be honest, most of it is hidden underneath all of this, it actually works really, really well. So I can't really see the point of going down the aftermarket route with metal having it sag, because that beautiful sag, I think is better on the earlier Russian stuff where you can physically see it laying in there, you know, on sort of, you know, T72s, things like that. When you get the skirts on them and all the rest of it, it's hidden so much, I don't think it's a problem. But needless to say, with the weathering on this, I've had lots of people ask about different types of weathering I'm gonna be doing on it. I'm probably gonna keep it to the way I would like to weather on this one. In the past, if you wanna look at those particular builds, obviously have a look at the Sherman, that's all oils and pigment literally down on that. And then what have we got down there? We've got the, uh, what else did we do? Just wanna see the Bradley as well. We used oils on those. So they're into that sort of realm of it, filters and all that stuff. This one, I'm gonna try it more my way. So we're gonna be using obviously clay washes in there thinning down clay, clay washes and turning them into pin washes, and then obviously coming in with pigments and various things like that just to grind this one up and to make it look sort of more weathered in, more in scale and everything else like that. So uh, quite interesting on that one. Uh, a couple of people asked about the airliners. The airliners, yeah, I'm gonna do the 787 and the 747, and the reviews will be up for those next week, and they'll be coming up soon. Obviously, next week, I'm actually gonna allocate myself, because I've got a little bit of breathing room between these builds before you catch up. 
probably next week I might just do all the new tutorial sets. I'm thinking I could probably do one a day. Um, so I might actually say, well, you guys can watch these and then that'll free me up to literally get on to doing all those tutorials and things like that, as we spoke about. I know a lot of you are really excited and I've had loads of people saying, when are they gonna be up? Uh, it's when I can get round to them. So I'm gonna allocate next week to purely doing the tutorials and everything else like that. Next Friday, I am away. I'm away for a long weekend, got a bit of a break on there. But obviously Monday to Thursday, I can crack on with those. And then obviously as soon as they're done, I won't hold back. They'll be really straight up into the new tutorial section as soon as I get that one worked out. And uh, you can go ahead and watch those. So anyway, um, I know a lot of you have been asking about the Star Wars um, SIG. Uh, and all the bits and pieces of the reveal video for that. So what I thought I'd do is I'd tag it on to today's one. Uh, there's no names on them because there's absolutely hundreds of them to be honest. We've got 130 or photos going to go through here and all the rest of it. Needless to say, you all did an amazing job. I know it was my SIG, it was my idea. I sprung it on the team. They didn't even know it. I just, that was it, just go and do it. Uh, you guys really took it to heart. The standard of the work, I absolutely loved it. Uh, and the way that you guys sort of embraced it and pushed on with it and everything else and with the Bandai stuff. And I know a lot of people are like, oh God, Star Wars, if you're not a Star Wars fan. But some of the weathering, the technique, Techniques, the skill involved in it, especially doing the figures, the way you guys have adapted them and changed them and made them your own and things like that has been an absolute stunning job. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with that today and everything else. So there we go. That's it for this week. Another great week's modelling. I'll catch you all next week.
It's crazy.